So are you ready for number 10 of the most important breakthroughs and trends in echocardiography 2024? Well, number 10 is atrial fibrillation is not good for the heart valve, specifically mitral regurgitation. Why? Well, you can see in this example that if patients have atrial fibrillation, they will usually have more mitral regurgitation. And mitral regurgitation is much less once patients are again in sinus rhythm. But this is not the only relationship. We've learned that with dilatation of the atria, you will also have functional mitral regurgitation. So it's a bidirectional situation with atrial fibrillation causing MR and MR also causing atrial fibrillation. Remember, this is not only related to mitral, but also to tricuspid regurgitation. What is the importance of that? Why do we need to know? Well, because it alters our management. We should probably be more aggressive in treating atrial fibrillation and refer patients earlier to PVI and probably also be earlier to treat mitral regurgitation, for example, with interventions or with surgery.